Welcome back, fellow citizens of JAR, to Daring for Super President. This is the show in which we try to build our own country, take over the entire universe, and fix all of the universe's problems. If that sounds like something you think you might like, please hit the subscribe button down below to be counted as a citizen and to join us on our path to glory. The people have spoken. I put out the great census of JAR nearly a week ago, and I've given it enough proper time. You can see the responses go down, and we've got a total of 42 responses, which is more than I would have ever expected. Ever. This was a very affirming thing for me, because it basically told me exactly what I wanted to hear, as opposed to what I expected to hear, which is great. It means you're all wonderful people. So let's go down it question by question, and I'm going to go through every single thing that I possibly can in the time that I could record on this camera before it shuts off on me. <laughs> How long have you been a citizen of JAR? We have 42 people answer this, and it's actually pretty much what I expected. You get like the first, I didn't do a full two years, but they're kind of like two first years of videos going up was a fair amount of people, and then when I stopped uploading for a while it dropped off fully, and then when I started uploading again and like tried harder, <laughs> that's when it has gotten the most. I love that both people have stuck around for a long time and new people have shown up, which I, that makes me feel very good. <laughs> Now, I also had everybody answer, how do you find out about JAR? I've learned that I show up almost exclusively for people on YouTube search, which means A, I should go back and make sure I tag all the videos properly, which I didn't really do for a while. And then on the other side of it, I'm gonna try harder that people will find me in other ways. What I find very interesting is only two people put Tumblr, which is, I used to have a moderately successful Tumblr blog that I, I like, linked me to the channel to get my first couple subscribers. And then a couple people knew me in person that I told about the channel, and a couple people elaborated, and I loved this one comment. <laughs> I actually came up with the idea myself if there was a state in the jar as a micronation idea while talking to my brother about the existence of possibilities of such a nation. Sounded interesting, so I typed it into Google to see if someone started something like this. No results. Tried YouTube, <laughs> listing videos, and then noticed me. Which is probably that second video I have, which still gets a ton of views. Then I did, what do we want to see more of and less of? This is probably the stuff that most people care about. I threw in, we may notice, the exact same list for what do you want to see more of and less of. And I personally hate it when I do a survey and I'm like a little bit more of something than something else, but I have to only pick one. So I did check boxes so that you could pick and like as many or as little things as you want. I hate surveys usually, so this made me very happy to give other people <laughs> the chance to do a survey in the way that I wanted to do a survey. And the top three things that came over this were the top three things that I actually wanted to do, which is jar culture, community, and world domination stuff. So. I genuinely kind of figured that the two things YouTube would want me to do are like in-depth video essays about history and then the other half being gaming and that is not at all what people did which made me actually feel very happy because that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I like fun quirky tidbit education. I don't like big deep, deep dive uh, do tons of research stuff because well I feel like I could do it it just kind of feels like a research essay for school so coming in number one is jar culture which is great I genuinely hadn't done a few videos because I figured they wouldn't do well YouTube wise with like jar culture so I'm those are back on the list which is amazing and if we go down to some of the responses I see things saying that which is like want to see more scheming of conquest citizen involvement, questionnaires, raffles, prizes, map making. Um, instead of history, I'd like interesting facts about the world, whatever you find interesting. That is fair. I like, instead of the same boring, you know, facts about things, I like weird facts. So I, I like weird, quirky, fun, upbeat education that's surface level and not too deep. Not all the time, but like sometimes. A book of all the greatest quotes. <laughs> I'll have to do that at some point. Field trips, adventures with friends, and presidential peoples. Now that I know people care and actually want to see collabs, I will absolutely be looking into collabs immediately. Because I didn't think that people wanted that, so I'm very happy that I get to do that. I'd like to see you offer Jar's opinion and stance on global events. They're real bad right now. It's not good. <laughs> if I ever did like a late night type thing, it would be very much like a John Oliver cross with Mr. Rogers. Like up uplifting, feel good about yourself. Fine, I guess here's what's going on with the world. Cause I, you know, I like to keep people optimistic about the future. I don't, I don't like to be a buzzkill every week. I don't want to prefer not to be part of that. 
if I can help it, but you know, we'll see where the world goes, I guess. Arts, we need to make official hats. I'll put it on the episode list. That sounds amazing. Now question four, I was really curious to see because people can say, I love all the things, but I love it when somebody's like, I hate this. <laughs> And very, very clearly, people do not want to see gaming on this channel. <laughs> like, they'll show you the graphic. <laughs> Weirdly, one of the most popular requests I got since this channel has been created is gaming. And apparently, nobody wants to see gaming, which I am totally fine with. Um, for those of you who do like gaming and did ask for more gaming, I do have another channel I do with some friends called Rainproof Media. There are multiple gaming-based shows on Rainproof Media. I'll link it down below. The consolation prize? I actually didn't really want to do gaming on this channel. To me, it doesn't feel like it super fits. It's like a round peg in a square hole. Also, I find it funny that previously, not too many people wanted us to focus on making the world a better place, but absolutely nobody wants to see me try less to be on making the world a better place. So I think rather than making a bunch of episodes on making the world a better place, I'll sneak them in as segments and be like, here's how our charity efforts are going, because I care about making the world a better place. So even if none of you wanted it and all of you hated it, I would still donate some of Jar's money to charity because I do what I want. <laughs> this is one of the ones I'm overruling people because I think it's important to help the world. The spiciest comments I was expecting were from the what do you not want to see, but most of them are, I don't know, I like everything we do. <laughs> Maybe you could invent some other kind of space program, like shooting bottle rockets or something. I genuinely want to get there. I just don't know how to make bottle rockets, and it's real cold and snowy outside right now, so I need to figure that out. Logistically, I've got some work to do. <laughs> Nothing. By the way, if you read this, you must solve 47,000 derivatives in one take. You have five minutes starting now. I haven't done derivatives since calculus in university, and I do not plan on being intelligent or starting now. So, no. <laughs> I tried that hard back then. No longer. I let my IQ go in the trash. <laughs> I've also seen a couple things of people either saying they like my production quality or they don't like my production quality, kind of like this one. I think you worry about production value a little too much. Your videos are fine the way they are in quality. Actually, weirdly enough, the videos on this channel got me my job. <laughs> and also got me client work and made me get some tech reviews for people. So one of my goals is to create my own production company. And so that, this is me, I just, while I make YouTube videos, I just sort of practice how to make stuff better. I don't really worry that much. It, but if you're wondering why, it's like, why is Darren trying out all these lenses or doing this dumb thing? It's not that I need to be good at YouTube. It's that genuinely, this is practice to me where I get to learn. It's like playing guitar and you can try out the new guitar pick and try out your new chords. And <laughs> I'm a total nerd, <laughs> which I'm very happy about. But this is this is my happy place, and I love learning about production-y things. Also, I think people get a little worried when people care too much about production quality, because there's so many YouTubers that like wanted to make movies, and then they left the space, and they made terrible movies, or bad TV, or late night, or whatever. I think the reason is eventually people care far too much about respect and legitimacy to the point where they forget quality and they care more about people who are in powerful places liking them than the people who aren't in powerful places liking them, and I think that's stupid. Also, my goal is not, and never has been, to make high-end movies and TV. It's actually been to, if I could, make something like a Rooster Teeth, where instead of making better things, I just make more things. And then we can do 18 series, or 56 series, or 130 series and I can affect change and do cool stuff. So so I'll, I'll casually keep trying to get better, but it's not like it's giving me anxiety or keeping me up at night. It's just fun practice, realistically. And then finally we have the do whatever you want question. I wanted to know what people would say given zero prompts and 31 people decided to tell me. You're doing a great job, Darren. Remember, we believe in you. <laughs> I made a mistake last video about the decade. Apparently, I'm told that the decade does not start in year 2020, but it's 2021. I like, I think it was Veritasium's response where he said, that's the decade, but a decade is any random 10 years. 
and a decade definitely ended. And I know that's arbitrary, but most people when they think of a decade think of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's nice and round and that's what I like going with, so to each their own, I guess. I'd like if you added a scoop of dirt to jar for every subscriber, I, my house would be overflooded with dirt. I, I cannot do that. The first thing I want to wish you is a happy new 2020 and Christmas, lots of health and happiness right back at you. I know this whole project is here for friends and good fun, but I noticed you started a Kiva humanitarian program and you had more goals for world domination. I do want to fix all the world's problems as well. It's a very, you know, try my darndest by the time I yeet myself off this mortal coil into the whatever comes next. I'd like to, you know, relieve the world of as much suffering as possible. Um, <laughs> I have an idea that could extend our space program to explore space dust, more specifically micrometeorites. That sounds super cool. I'll look into it for sure. And I'm probably going to do the in space stuff in a less gaming-y way, so that yeah, definitely is something to look at. Lots of wonderful, very kind comments I'm scripting past that I did read and I loved. Uh, you are all very kind. Oh man. I want you to videotape yourself signing Jar's Constitution. America wishes they could have done that. Also, I want to use Steve establish relations with fellow micronations. Done and done. I'll write them both down. That's amazing. You don't need to try to join the UN. You're too good for those clowns. Yeah, but can you imagine if I actually did, though? <laughs> That would be awesome. Maybe change up the background music every once in a while. Stock music isn't really annoying, but starting to feel a bit repetitive. This is something that I zoned out on. I will absolutely, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna up it to like eight or 10 songs. And then if you guys start hearing new songs and there's ones you like, let me know. I'll play them more often. And there's ones you don't like, I'll, you know, start sorting through and, but yes, I will definitely give me less than a month. I'm not sure how my schedule is. Give me less than a month and I'll be up to like eight or 10 as opposed to two, which one of which I play a lot of the time. So no, I completely agree with you. Hi, Chris here. I just wanted to let you know you're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you. But as a severe micronationalist, you've helped me out a lot. Oh, when I first got into the topic, you were one of my first inspirations. So I have everything to thank you for. Oh. Still have my jar colony on my desk. Oh, well, thank you very much, Chris. I've gotten so many kind things. Maybe form a military. I, we have one. I'll do another military video because most people don't remember that and it was super like early in the channel. I'm a huge fan of studying micronations. When I accidentally found your channel, I ended up in this strange satirical rabbit hole and it was glorious. Oh, loved a bit, a lot of the tongue, loved a lot of the tongue in cheek and production value is great compared to most. I don't exactly see you as a super useful history channel besides surface to the children's pool level of depth. That's totally fair. I don't try to push too far in that because that means I'll have to start doing tons of research that I don't want to do. So for me, it's more quirky, fun history facts like weird mustaches and weird ways of looking at history or stuff. I don't want to do super deep dives. I might do like a history of the world kind of thing, but not commonly that'd be like once a year i don't want to put the effort in to be perfectly honest those take a lot of good research that i don't want to do and there are so many and there are so many more intensive history channels that may that it may not be worth it and there are so many more intensive history channels that may not be worth it to try too hard on that yep i totally agree and i don't want to put the effort in it is super fun to see you perform and plot things for jar yep be fun to see more variety, both evil and good schemes. Well, I'll have to figure out evil ones that work, I suppose. And anything and anything involving physical reality is great, like actually having dirt to claim land on. Congrats on 729 subs. I've been here for a while, but I only comment every now and again. Actually, I've only commented once, I do believe. Think of me as the nation's own outcast. Well, great to have you aboard. I am a lurker on so many different places on the internet. So I, one of the reasons I did this survey is I wanted to give people the ability to talk without being like held accountable with their face and stuff. Um, cause I, I like being a lurker. I don't like, you know, contributing to everything I watch. So I appreciate all the lurkers who are watching. What's up? All the people that are watching that have never commented and never planned to, cause you are just as cool to me as everybody else. Maybe better lighting. Maybe you have a desk you can address us from and use it on special occasions such as holidays or the day jar was found and things like that. I want to do more holiday things and I have fun ideas for not the lighting, but the desk part I have a cool idea for. I, again, I have many my hands in many pies, so. This is Emperor AP of the Empire of Aeternia. Can't contact me, check your email. God, don't worry, I got this. And I think that is everything. I'm, <laughs> there is so much. It was amazing. You guys put so much effort in. 
I absolutely love how much work everybody put into this to tell me how they feel, and I feel very satisfied with all of it, very much, so thank all of you. Unlike most countries in which they ask people what they think and then don't follow through with it, expect me to be trying to implement as much of this feedback as possible into the channel, so that I will, you know, be the only politician in history who's actually listening to their constituents, because I find that a, a hilarious meta joke. <laughs> so this has been your super presidential candidate Darren, signing off for Saturday, saying welcome to JAR. Jar takes all kinds. You are family now. Please join us this week and every week. We go up every single Saturday and Monday. Don't forget to check the description down below for links to fun things. And I believe you, as always, with our viewer submitted model for Jar, which is We Are Jar. If you love Jar, you'll love us. See you Monday. And this episode is brought to you by Aiden Fisher. Truly a knight among knights and a person among people. A mango among mangoes. And this episode is also brought to you by Rachel. Truly a banana among bananas. A tree among trees. I don't get this analogy. But it's also brought to you by Luke. Definitely a beard among beards. <laughs> That's an avocado among avocados. I don't know where to go with this analogy. <laughs> Thank all of you. Okay, bye.